Some viewers may find this disturbing. Your discretion is advised. Hi my loves, it's Destin Choice and you're watching Choice TV. So today's video I decided to do a fucking mukbang, do something a little bit different. You know, I haven't done one of those in a while. But anyways, I've been getting really emotional y'all. Like really emotional because these bed bugs are fucking me up. So if you ever had bed bugs, you understand. Like you understand. Like oh, and the only reason I bring up my bed bugs is because I seen like one or two comments, people saying they want an update. So I'm like, okay, you know what? One, two, one, too many people want to know. So yeah, and I haven't seen a bed bug in so long, but they fuck with you psychologically. Okay, they fuck with you psychologically. Like I've been trying to squish it, but it's actually lit. So psychologically, I've been fucked up. And I don't want no one saying, again, you're being so dramatic. I'm not being fucking dramatic, bitch. How about I come to your house and give you bed bugs? Anyways, in this video, I'm going to be doing a mukbang. And I'm going to be making Ed's sauce. So if y'all are familiar with the um, Nickelodeon movie Good Burger, you probably know what Ed's sauce is. Oh, it's my sauce. I make it myself. Huh. You carry your own sauce? Doesn't everybody? Hey, hey, would you watch it? Sorry. Hey, well, this is kind of good. What's in the sauce? Ed's ingredients. He made it himself. Yeah, Ed? Excellent. His sauce? True. Ed? Get in that kitchen and start making it. Oh, yeah. Yippee, yippee. But for those of y'all who didn't grow up in the fucking 90s, and for those of y'all who haven't seen the movie, Ed is basically played by Kel Thompson. Keenan and Kel played in a movie called Good Burger. And it featured basically two teenagers working at a fast food restaurant. One of them created a fucking sauce. And it bought in a whole bunch of customers. So I was like, you know what? I've always wanted to make this shit. And somebody gave me the idea in my comment section. It was like, Choice, make Ed sauce. And I was like, holy shit. Oh my god. And then I looked up and I seen nobody was doing this shit. And I'm like, oh my god, I gotta fucking do this shit. So if you see anybody do this idea, you know who the fuck they got it from. So while I talk, while, while I make Ed sauce in this video, I'm gonna be exposing my fucking roommate. Um, yeah. So I know some of y'all are thinking, wait, Troy, don't you live with your grandmother? I do live with my grandmother, but like I told y'all, um, a long, like I told y'all a long ass fucking time ago. that my grandma owns a big ass house. So she rents out rooms all the time. So I live in the actual house and then the back portion of the house is basically like a studio, like an efficiency. So she rented that portion of the house um, out a couple months ago. And the person that lives on like the other side of the house has been pissing me the fuck off. Now I'm gonna tell you why. So basically, oh, oh, and also I have my hot juicy burgers here. I was gonna make them shits, but who the fuck has time to make burgers? Like no, McDonald's got me right. So the person that lives on the back portion of the house, sometimes they can be like a little bit loud. My grandma has the big chunk and then they have like the small chunk of the house. So it's like a guest house. So the person, the old ass lady that lives like on the other side, she has like two grown ass children living with her. I think one of them is like a girl who's like 23 and the other one is a boy who's like 24 or some shit. Oh, and if, I'm not gonna, y'all, if y'all wanna know the fucking recipe, go look that shit up on Google, like, like I did. <sighs> Anyways. So, yeah. She's been there for a couple of months. I've been there for a couple of months. And sometimes she'll be loud. Sometimes whenever she, like, walks out of the house, she'll have, like, loud conversations on the phone. Like, she'll step outside to have loud conversations, and I would hear a conversation, because my window is, like, like right by the back of the house, I would sometimes hear her conversation outside. I don't know, fucking weird. Like she steps outside of her house like a fucking weirdo to have conversations. It's just weird. Sometimes she be inviting guests over, and sometimes it's like it's a lot of noise, but it's not like too extreme. 
So tell me why I was vacuuming, because y'all know, like, I have bed bugs. So I have to constantly vacuum the room all the fucking time, right? So I was vacuuming. I bought, I had my vacuum. I've been vacuuming for like the past couple of weeks. Regular, regular shit. And mind you, this happened a couple months ago. I'm, I'm going to get to the juicy part. So I'm vacuuming my room consistently for like three weeks. And, and you know how when you vacuum, you like accidentally like bang on the wall a little bit because like you're trying to get like every inch and every corner of your room yeah so basically when I'd be vacuuming out of nowhere I would hear like banging on the wall like but it, it would always it would, it would it would happen while I'm vacuuming and I thought that was so weird I'm like what the fuck is that banging noise what is that so I just ignored it I was like hey eh. Whatever, I don't know what that is. I don't know what furniture the person on the other side of the house is doing. Lady who lives in the um the guest house behind my grandmother's house, right? I find out that she was the one banging on my wall, like banging on the wall because her room is like connected to my closet. So every time I open, so every time my closet door is wide open, she could probably hear if the TV's too loud or if I'm vacuuming type shit. So. I find out that she's the one who's been banging on the wall every time I vacuum. You wanna know why? Because one day, my friend was dropping me off home. And voila, fancy seeing this bitch. She like, she's posted up. Like she literally just got out of her car. She pulled up in, she's pulled up in the parking lot. She's got a car, my friend drops me off. I'm, I'm saying bye to my friend, I get out the car. And as I'm heading to the front door to unlock the door so I can go inside my my house, my room, she stops me and says, hey, and I'm like, yeah, and she's like, hey, excuse me, can you stop banging, and I said, huh, banging, and she said, yes, banging, stop banging on the wall, my first initial instinct, like, this is literally my face, I'm looking at her like this, I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. Because the thing is, I really didn't know what she, was, what she was talking about. But she was really talking about the fact that whenever I vacuum, the, 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 the vacuum would constantly hit the fucking wall. That's what she was talking about. But she approached it in such a fucking weird, nasty way. Like, if she had a problem, she really could have just talked to my grandmother or my grandmother's boyfriend. Because they're the one, like, the house belongs to them. So if she had a problem, why, um, why not um, approach them and say, hey, at like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night, Cause yeah, sometimes I do vacuum at night. Oh, I hear banging. Like she could have just approached it to him, and then he could have just told me. Cause that's usually what your fucking landlord does. Um, your neighbor does. They usually report the issue to the person who has all control, right? So she started me saying, "Stop banging," and I was like, "Huh?" And she's like, "Every night, every night, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock in the morning, I hear banging. I hear." This, I heard that, and, I, and, I, and you have to stop it. And I was like, Bang. I'm not really sure what you're talking about, ma'am, but I'll try to be careful and limit the noise I make. And then she was like, yes, okay, because the banging you hear, I guess, um, um, late at night, every time you, you, you make noise, yeah, that's me banging right back to respond to your banging on the wall. And I'm like, huh, that makes sense. No wonder I was constantly hearing, like, banging every week. Because I vacuum like twice a week so it was like that makes sense no one else hearing banging so I'm, I'm looking at her i'm saying okay you know what i understand you're a working woman i'm a working person too you know at the end of the day if you have an issue and if you ever ever hear banging again and i make noise by accident without realizing because i don't know what you're talking about i can give you my number like would you like my number so next time we can actually like speak about this if there's a further issue and then she was like i'll give you my number Next time I hear some banging. No, matter of fact, next time I hear banging, I'm going to bang right back. And then she's like walking. And I'm like, you sure? And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she keeps walking. Like she's walking towards the back of the house. That's where her house, her part of the guest, her part of her, the part of her guest shit is. So she's at, so I'm trying to talk to her. And I was like, you sure? And I was like, okay, good night. And then she's like, and she kept walking. She didn't say good night right back. So she was just so very rude and nasty and had like this crazy fucking demeanor. And I'm over here so confused. I'm like, I don't even know who the fuck she was. That was my first time ever seeing this bitch in my entire life. Ever. Oh, by the way, y'all, that was onion powder. 
Kel in the in the movie, he actually fucking used minced onions, like a whole fucking onion. And I'm like, I don't got time to cut that shit. So I'm just using onion powder. Onion powder and chop, cut up onions is the same shit. So this bitch was like talking mad crazy to me. So I thought that was like so weird. It's like, why is she like approaching it so immature? Why is she being such a like an asshole? Like I understand that it's like late night banging, but like approach it maturely. So fast forward to a week after we had our conversation, right? I'm talking, I'm filming my video, and my closet door is kind of open, mind you. Like I said in the beginning, when my closet door is slightly open, she can slightly hear my conversation. It's not like to the point where you can like hear every word I'm saying, but it's to the point where like, if she puts her ear to the wall, she'd probably be able to hear me. Because sometimes I could be able to hear her ass too, and if my closet door is open. So, as I'm filming my video and ranting, you know, my job, my job to pay my fucking bills. Out of nowhere... I hear, yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Like, she's actually shouting it, like, at the wall. Oh, but I'm not home right now, y'all. I'm, I'm in a villa because I'm going to Coachella. Anyways, so I hear, yeah, 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 I can hear you. And I stopped talking for a second, and I'm like, what the hell is that? Is that coming out, coming from outside? Is, 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 this, is there a fucking ghost in here or some shit? What is that? And then I stopped to listen to try to figure out what that was. And then I hear, no, do what you were doing before. I'm like, and then she's like, oh, oh, like I'm hearing that through the wall. And I'm like, first of all, I've never been able to hear this bitch so clearly my entire motherfucking time living there. So the fact that she's actually doing that is a, means that she's screaming at the wall just to be petty. So I'm like, I thought we just had a conversation about being careful with the bitch. Like I stopped the banging. I've been more careful while vacuuming, cleaning. Why is this bitch talking mad shit through the wall? So I'm getting fucking annoyed because mind you, imagine if someone is interfering with your work. Imagine if, if, if let's say you work at Foot Locker or you work in customer service and someone's being petty as fuck like while you're on the phone like trying to talk to customers or someone's being immature while you're a uh, retailer. Like let's say you're a retail seller at fucking Foot Locker. Imagine someone's being rude and trying you and talking shit behind you like Imagine that, like you can't fucking focus. So I was getting annoyed, but I stopped talking. Like after she said, "Oh," I was like, I stopped for thirty seconds to think, to put the pieces together. Because usually when some fucked up shit happens to me, I like to sit down and take it all in. I like to sit down and decipher what they really meant. So I'm like, oh, so this bitch is being petty as fuck. Maybe she looked at me and she assumed that I was a child because one time she actually asked my um my grandma, oh, did you finally get to you know rent out the what you call it? And I and I believe they were like, oh yeah, my grandson rented out that room over there. So I think something clicked in her head when she saw me and when she found out that her grandson rented out the room. I think it clicked in her head where it was like, oh, I finally finished the sauce. If y'all want to figure out the recipe to the sauce, I'm going to leave a video down below. This is some lady who made that shit way better than I did. But yeah, this looks like Ed's sauce, right? So, I'm thinking maybe she felt like she could disrespect me because she probably thought I was just like some fucking child or some shit. Especially because I was very calm because when she approached me, I'm very, I was very calm. And usually I'm very monotone because especially late at night, I'm very monotone. Like I don't feel like arguing or shouting. And I was thinking about going off on her ass, because I'm over here like, um, because like she actually was yelling at me. So I'm like, okay, so clearly she's doing all this shit just to be petty as fuck. This was, by the way, on a Saturday, which is, by the way, why I don't post on weekends. And then I eventually told my grandma's boyfriend, and I've known my grandma's boyfriend for like my whole life. Like they've been together for over 20 years. So I approached him about it days later, days later, days later. And mind you, I wasn't like yelling at the, I wasn't like filming late and late, 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 late at night. Like when she was talking shit through the wall, I was filming like around 7 p.m. Like on a regular, on a regular Saturday or some shit. So I spoke to my grandma's boyfriend, or let's call him my grandpa, because he's like my grandpa. So I spoke to him and I was like, hey, so the lady who lived in the back was talking mad crazy. She was like approaching me saying, Eh, can you stop banging? She's a Jamaican lady, by the way. And I was telling my grandpa, he was like laughing. And he was like, honestly, if she want to scream through the door, scream through the wall, scream right back. Because at the end of the day, I don't have a problem if you make noise. 
choice. That's your job. That's what you do. Fuck her. Do what you got to do to do your job at the end of the day. But just know that the reason why she didn't approach me with the problem was because she knows that she's on thin ice. So tell me how I found out. Fuck, I'm taking forever to fucking eat. So tell me how I found out. I gotta do my damn thumbnail too. So I found out that she's had issues with, with my grandpa in the past. So maybe it's one of those things where she didn't want to confront to tell him about it because she knew that she almost got kicked out so many other times that he was willing to that she was willing to be like okay you know what i'm not gonna approach him because you know i'm on thin nights you know i've had issues with with um him in the past because my grandma's boyfriend is basically like the landlord like he collects the money from them every month on the first so she didn't approach him about it because hold on i'm gonna tell y'all this story real quick and then i'm gonna fucking go in on this bitch because there's more to the story okay Gotta do my damn thumbnail. Oh my god. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh my god, I was supposed to take that. I'm gonna be surprised. I don't care. This shit looks too fucking McDonald's. I want it to look exotic. These thumbnails exhaust the hell out of me. Yeah, I know I'm taking forever to fucking eat. But there's more to the fucking story. So the lady who lives like in the efficiency of the guest chunk of the house, right? So let me tell y'all, let me remind y'all. It's this old lady. She's also a, she's a bus driver. Keep that in mind. She's a bus driver. She I think she drives for a middle school or some shit like that. So it's the bus driver, let's call her the bus driver lady because she's a bus driver. The bus driver lady, her daughter, her son, they all live in that chunk of the house. And it's a two bedroom actually. There's a living room, there's a, little, a small little tiny kitchen, and then there's like two bedrooms, right? Mind you, the, the only person who could probably hear my banging is the bus driver, old bitch, who lives back there because my closet is connected to her room because my room is way in the back of the house anyways so my grandpa told me the only reason he, she probably didn't approach me was because there was an incident where I almost kicked him the fuck out and I was like why and he said it was because her son did some fuck shit mind you her son's like 24 I think he's like a he's I think he's one of those bum niggas all the time because he, he he be home like all the time I think he's just like one of those bum niggas that just don't do anything all day I mean, let me let me tell you why. She he said, mind you, like my grandpa and grandma like just recently got this house. Like they've had it for like four years. So the person who like had the house prior, their mail was still showing up to the house. So the bus driver bitch's son, who's like twenty four or some shit, 
was going to the mail, checking the mail, you know, getting his mom's mail, getting his sister's mail. And he also saw like a like a like a credit card inquiry or some shit. My that's what my grandpa told me. He saw like the person who used to live there before his credit card information, like in the mail or some shit. And he was trying to like inquire for like credit and trying to commit fraud, like going through the mail or some shit. And my grandpa found out like two weeks later. And then because because the person who lived there before was saying, why the fuck am I seeing that someone trying to inquire with a credit card, my personal information? What the fuck is going on? So my grandpa automatically put two and two together and was like, oh, I've been seeing her little fucking son check the mail all the time. So he tried to commit fraud. And mind you, at the time, they were literally, I didn't even know this like while living here. Mind you, all, it was like, she think could have fucking took my damn YouTube checks. Huh. <sighs> Oh my god, I would have had to set that whole bitch on fire. Anyways, so her her son was like trying to inquire for like a whole bunch of shit and he was like trying to commit fraud. So the, my grandma was about to kick them out and was like, nah, y'all get the fuck out of here. Get your asses up the fuck out of here. I don't give a fuck about no rent money because y'all only been here for like three weeks. It hasn't even been a full month. Y'all already doing fuck shit. Mmm. Damn, Ed. This sauce is good. My grandpa was like, y'all only been here for three weeks, having a butt. Get the fuck out of here. Your son was trying to commit fraud and shit. Trying to go through the previous um owner's mail. Try to inquire for shit. And I caught y'all. Get the fuck out. And then the mom... The bus driver bitch was like begging. I think she's like 58 or some shit. She's like really old. So she was like, oh no, please, please, please. I'm begging, I'm begging. My grandma was like, I don't want to hear, I want to hear it. So then she's blowing up his phone. And this is, this happened months ago. She's blowing up my grandma's phone saying, please, I have nowhere to go. We're going to be out in the streets if you kick us out. And my grandpa was like, I don't give a fuck. You should have known better before you had that little nigga come in here trying to fucking like inquire for credit cards and shit. As my grandpa should, you know, as he should like kick them the fuck out so my grandma was being nice and was like no it's okay you know let the people stay you know they have nowhere to go let's give them one more chance but the the, the, the son gotta go the boy gotta go and then the lady the bus driver lady was like okay you know what my son gotta go my son gotta go you know he has nowhere to go his father passed away recently we, we lost our apartment that's why we're like staying in your guest house and you know we were thinking we could stay a little bit longer you know we'll, we'll, me, me and my daughter pay bills me and my daughter work he don't work so we'll make sure he leave oh forgot to mention my grandpa wanted to call the police he was about to call the police and she cried and begged him not to call the police so my grandpa was like, all right, fine, he got to go. I don't want him anywhere near here. If he come back, y'all got to get the fuck out. So boom, two months later go by. And eventually, the nigga come back. The son come back. So my grandpa peeped his car. My grandpa would say shit like, you know what? I'm going to be nice. Y'all seem like good people. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to just ignore it. So it's like he just didn't give a fuck. He was like, you know what, the son, he, he's been on his best behavior, he hasn't been doing no fuck shit, I'm going to just ignore it, and I'm going to just let y'all stay here for a little longer, as long as y'all pay me rent. So that's why she probably didn't approach my grandpa with the issue, because her son almost got them kicked, almost got her and her, her other daughter kicked the fuck out. So it's like, that's why she felt so comfortable coming up to me, because she was like, hey, you know what, I could try him, I could try him, I'm not going to try the, the grandpa, because, you know... Um, I know damn well that he 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 was nice enough to let me stay. So maybe it was, maybe it was that. And I'm like, oh, that makes mad sense. So my grandpa was like, fuck them. If the bitch want to yell through the wall, yell back. If the bitch got a problem, she can come to me. At the end of the day, you're not doing nothing wrong. If you, he said, but this is the only thing. Don't um don't be loud after one a.m. Um, anytime before one a.m., twelve a.m., eleven p.m., you could like be be loud and do your videos. I don't care. But if it's after 1 a.m., choice you kind of got to understand. And I was like, yeah, I understand. But the bitch was like talking shit through me through the wall at 8 p.m. on a regular fucking day. Mind you, this is on Saturday. So like I said, she's a bus driver. So I said, you know what? Fine. Just to make things easier because I don't want this bitch distracting me. Because if this bitch fucking talks shit through the wall while I'm filming, 
I'm gonna fucking have to go in the back of the house, knock on her door, and tell her to stop that shit right now. Cause I don't play that. You should see me and my brother. Like when I used to do my videos, I used to say my brother. I used to like go the fuck off. If I even hear so much as a pen drop, I would say, dog, can you please stop dropping pens? Can you please stop chewing? Can you please stop blinking? Because if I can't focus and do this. I can't film. I can't film with 10 people in the room. I can't film with people making noise in the background. I just can't do it. So, that annoyed me that she was talking shit through the wall. Mm. After we rectified the situation, so it made me want to move. Y'all, it's currently April, May, June. So basically in June, she's gonna be home all day. On Saturday and Sunday, she's like, what, like 58? So she don't be doing nothing. She be home all fucking day. And mind you, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna be respectful. I'm gonna try to make it work. I'm not gonna film on weekends because I know she's off on weekends. Obviously, bus drivers don't work on weekends. But I'm gonna only film on weekdays. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm going to post those days. But Saturday, Sunday, I'm going to just relax and not film because she's probably sleeping. She probably works a lot. Because on Monday through Friday, she's gone all day because she's a bus driver. But she comes back like around 10 o'clock at night. And she literally comes back at 10 o'clock at night. I don't know if she has to do like night school bus driving or whatever she's doing. But all I know is she'd be gone for hours. And I have every single weekday to, to you know, film film and be loud because her kids can't hear me their rooms are like on the other side like way 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 further her room is the only room that's like close to me so that's the story y'all that's me explaining everything i was just very fucking annoyed that she did that fuck shit i don't care y'all some of y'all might say why didn't you go off on her when she approached you and said, stop banging on the wall. And she literally moved her head. I wanted to say to her, fuck around with your neck, bitch. But I was like, you know what? This is an old ass lady. And what the hell like going off an old ass lady? When it comes to me, when it comes to her interfering with my work, I would have been willing to go off on her. But ever since she hasn't done that since, because I've only been filming on weekdays. I've only been filming on weekdays and being loud on weekdays. That particular day, it was a Saturday. So I didn't know she was a bus driver at the time. And she's off on Saturday and Sunday. I didn't know that. I didn't know this bitch schedule. And then this is my job. And I'm annoyed because I'm like, bruh, you know what? April is, we're, we're in April. So May, June. We're going to be in the summer. She's not going to be working. So it's like, bro, I want to be out of here. I want to move out. I don't care to be here. For one, fucking bed bugs, bitch. Two, this bed bug bitch that lives on the other side of my fucking closet door. Oh, I'm, I'm not home right now, y'all. I'm, I'm in Palm Springs, California because I'm, I'm going to Coachella. So, yeah. Got this big pump back well bed bug looking bitch going off and talking shit through the wall. And talking to me crazy and confronting me out of nowhere. I'm trying to move. I don't care to be there no more. The bed bugs and now her and now the, the living bed bug, the full size, life size bed bug. No, 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 no. Mm. I can't take it. And honestly, I'm taking this as a lesson learned. And I think the universe is trying to tell me. Choice, your big fat ass should not be living with other people. Live on your own. I mean, I'm taking it. So I'm moving out. So I've been talking to a real estate agent. And she's, um, I'm going to meet with her this upcoming Wednesday. We're going to look at places. I'm going to look for something that's within my budget. And she said she can get me out immediately. Like, my credit is good. Like, I think my credit is like a 664 or some shit. I've been trying to maintain it, but it's fucking hard. And uh, yeah, I've been trying to maintain it.
It is what it is. I don't care to live there no more. I'm just over it. I'm like, yeah, it's affordable because my grandma only charges me 400 a month to live in a room. But I'm like, honestly, I could just move to Atlanta and find a nice little two bedroom spot for like 850 a month in a decent area. I, I don't care to live there. No more roommates for me. I, I, have, I have never had to deal with bed bugs in my, my whole life until living with other people. I'm not, even, I'm not even living with my friends. I told my friend, look, maybe it's best that we don't move together because a lot of my friends were like, y'all just all moving together. We could split a house. Nah, that's how you fuck up relationships, bitch. I'm not doing that shit. I need my own shit. My friends, we could just travel, see each other every once in a while, but I need my own shit. I want to be ducking every time I need to get fucking work done. Cause I do take what I do very seriously. <laughs> and if my mood is off or I'm annoyed or I'm pissed off the whole day, I'm not gonna film. If I'm too tired, I'm not gonna film. I take what I do very seriously. Like I'm not gonna come on looking any kind of way I'm not gonna, well, I, I do be coming on looking kind of wet, but I'm not gonna get on camera for not feeling it. Like, if I feel pissed, if triggered or pissed off or annoyed or feel like that I have to duck and minimize myself and be quiet to film, I, I'm, I just can't. So soon I begin my own spot. But anyways, y'all, I'm in Palm Springs, California. I'm gonna be going to Coachella weekend too. I'm excited to see Billie Eilish, Childish Gambino. Uh, Ella May, Ariana Grande, Bad Bunny. Mm. Mm. Yo, Ed Sauce is so good. Mm. It's so good. The relish really gives it a, a tangy taste. And then the lemon juice really has this shit popping. So y'all, make egg sauce. All you need is yellow mustard, ketchup, mayo, relish, and you need, you actually, sh you're supposed to fucking cook this shit like on the stove if you want to and use like minced onions, like chop up onions very, very thin and mix it up. Who has fucking time for that? I'm just using fucking onion powder. Oh, and you need lemon juice. So this shit is good. I really like it. Mm. Ooh. One more thumbnail for good luck. I feel like this whole video is just a fucking mess, honestly. If y'all made it this far, please let me fucking know. Because this video is just a mess overall. Mm. That's so crazy. Somebody fucking DM me. It was like, hey, Troy. I just found out I have 
meliopidosis. I don't know what the fuck that is, but apparently it means when you're sensitive to sounds and chewing noises. And they're like, hey Joyce, I mean you not because I want to know if you would stop chewing in your videos. She was like, I want to know if you would stop chewing your videos because I just want to have meliopidosis. I don't know what the word is. Meliopidosis. So comment the word if you know it. And she was like, I'm very sensitive to sound and chewing makes my, you know, my brain go crazy. So if you would tone it down a little bit, I would really appreciate it. I really like your videos, but I just can't take it anymore. Bitch, you gotta watch somebody else. Mm. Mm. Yo, Ed Sauce is really good. I like it. They should have coined this shit and made Good Burger an actual restaurant. Uh, but yeah, now that for this video, um, I'm fucking full because I'm, it's like midnight and I'm exhausted as fuck. And I want to get this video up as fast as possible. I've just been busy as fuck preparing for Coachella. And I'm going to try to you know, post consistently. And should I vlog Coachella? Let me know. Let me know. Because I'm going to be reviewing it and seeing what the hype's about. But anyways, you should like, comment, subscribe. Put your thoughts in the comment section down below. And yeah, that's that. Choice out this bitch. Um, Y'all ready for this? Ready for me to say this. What's coming from my heart? It's been a long time coming. We done been fall apart. Really wanna work this out, but I didn't think you. Yeah, I do, but you don't. Think it's best to go one separate way. Tell me why I should stay in this relationship when I'm hurting, baby. And I, I ain't happy, baby. Like there's so many other things I gotta deal with. I don't think you should have. Let it burn when the feeling ain't the same And your body don't want to But you know, you gotta let it go Cause the party ain't jumping like he used to Ain't no run Let it burn Let it burn Gotta let it burn Deep down you know it's best for yourself But you hate the thought of her being with someone else But you know that it's over We know it was soon let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. Thank you. If you made it to the end, please let me know and comment what song I should sing next.